Hey everybody, Jeremy here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Ban Presto Master Stars Frieza statue in Frieza's final form. Got this from Amazon.com, cost me around $26, $27, somewhere in that range, and this Frieza stands at about 7.8 inches tall. He goes along with the other figures in the Master Stars line from Ban Presto, including a few of the statues that I have and have reviewed, including Goku in his Super Saiyan form and Vegito, and coming up soon, Super Saiyan God Goku. So if you have some Master Stars statues, this is going to fit in scale and in line with the rest of them. So when you get Frieza, he's going to come in a few different parts. He's going to come with his head detached, so you have to put his head on, and you're also going to have to pop his tail on, and it's also going to come with this right here. Now this is a little display stand, and it's very important to go along with this figure. Right off the bat, I'm going to say the most negative thing that I found about this figure, and that's that he doesn't stand up incredibly well on his own. As you can see right now, he's standing just fine, but there is a little bit of wobbliness going on. And depending on which type of surface that you have him on, or if you have him uh, sitting on something that might not be on the most level ground, it's not surprising to have this guy kind of start to wibble and wobble and eventually topple over. Because his tail gives him so much weight, it kind of pushes him off to one side. So they included this base right here that has a little indentation right there in the middle that all you have to do is rest within his tail and when you do that that helps to balance Frieza so that he doesn't fall down uh, now unlike some of the other statues in this line like Vegito or rather uh, Super Saiyan Goku that comes with a plastic a pretty uh, pretty robust plastic piece that you can pop onto the back of his leg to help him stand up this actually doesn't attach into anywhere. It just sort of rests in Frieza's tail, kind of like this. And while it rests pretty well, you have to make sure that you have this on there if you are going to put him in a position where he could be on uneven ground. Otherwise, he may eventually fall over. That's the most negative thing that I have to say about this figure. But other than that, this is another very great figure in this line of Ben Presto statues based off the Dragon Ball Z license because they're so affordable they are not expensive at all and to me they hold the same kind of quality and dedication to scope and paint as do some other very popular statue figures and the first thing that comes to my mind is Kotobo Kia. They come with some very awesome statues with great detail, great paint, great everything and these stand up to it. It just happens to be a lot cheaper. So taking a look at Frieza here, one of the things that I like the most about him is that these purple parts on his body, on his shoulders and on the top of his head, these are actually like translucent pieces. You can kind of see through them and they're reflective. You can see yourself in them if you look close enough. And that's something I wasn't really expecting. I thought it was going to be just a solid matte purple finish, but it's actually trans it's actually translucent and i think that that's really cool it does the same thing on the back of his wrists there and also on his legs now because this is a statue he is going to stay just like this there is no articulation you can't move him this is the pose that he is going to be in all the time no matter what but it's a great pose because he kind of has this hey come at me kind of look you know he's got his hands extended Frieza has that smirk on his face, knowing that, hey, if you come at me, most likely, I'm going to kill you. Of course, we all know how that ended up for old Frieza, but it's good to have that kind of a confidence. The tail is also very nice. I like the way the tail is sculpted it because it kind of goes outward, and then it flares back in, and then it curves back under. It's a very cool look for Frieza's tail, and I really like that. And I also kind of like how Frieza is sort of leaning down a little bit. This statue does not stand up completely straight and tall. He's sort of hunched over because the way that his feet are positioned, it looks like he is walking towards someone or something, challenging someone. And as he's walking, they just sort of stopped him mid-pose as he's lunging over. And I think that's a very good look right there. Another thing that's cool, I'm not too sure if it's coming out very well in the camera, but Frieza is not completely white. There is actually like some really cool shadowing effects. It makes it look like they mixed in a little bit of sort of like a blue paint or perhaps a very light purple paint throughout 
the white portion of his body to just sort of make him look somewhat glowing. And I think that's also a really cool look as well. Did something similar with the repainted Goku statue and the way that he looks sort of, it looks like he has watercolors painted on him that makes him look like he's glowing. And something similar is happening with Frieza, especially like in the palms of his hands here. It almost looks like he's resonating with energy coming out of his hands. And I think that's really great as well. Muscle definition is also really good. Frieza in this form is not the most muscular, but he is very fit. He's very slim and trim. He still has good muscle definition, and I really like that. Fantastic job with the way that his mouth is curved and that sort of grin. Frieza has always looked like a woman to me, and they really captured that as well. Love the way that the shape of his mouth is and how they out and how they put like the black paint around his mouth. It's almost like uh, like a black lipstick, and it's the same thing on his on his fingernails here. Every time I review these statues, I always make a comment about the hands and how great the hands look and the lines that are in the hands and the prints that they detail in the hands. Frieza is that exact same way too, and they do a really good job on that. His armbands and his leg bands here are slightly different color than the rest of his body. They're made of a darker, a darker shade of white. And it almost looks dirty, and I'm not too sure if that's uh, I'm not too sure if that's an error in paint or if that's just the way that it's supposed to be. But it is not a pure clean white. It does look just a little bit worn, just a little bit. And I'm not sure if that was by design or not. But that's the way it is, and that's the way it's going to be. But it doesn't detract too much at all from the appearance of this statue. And just for comparison's sake, this is what Frieza looks like standing next to the other Master Star statue in this line, which is the repainted Super Saiyan Goku. As you can see, Goku stands so much taller than Frieza. And I know that Frieza is not very tall. Frieza is a bit on the short side when it comes to villains. So I'm kind of on the fence about whether or not this is really a good scale comparison. Um, I don't know if Goku is a bit too tall. He looks almost like a giant compared to this Frieza right here. Maybe that's accurate in the in the way that the um, comics and the in the anime actually goes. I'm not too sure, but Frieza is shorter than the rest, as he should be. So I don't really mind this scale all that much. But if that's something that does bother you, I could understand. Perhaps Frieza might have been just a little bit taller to be a little more comparable to Goku, but hey, maybe I'm completely wrong. Let me know in the comments if you pay a lot of attention to the scale of characters in Dragon Ball Z and whether or not this is accurate. But either way, it doesn't bother me at all. So I think that this is a really awesome figure. I like this Frieza, and it makes me want to get more of these Ban Presto statues, which I will. I'm kind of wanting to round out this Master Stars line with as many as I can within a reasonable price. I know prices can jack up on some of these, but this is one of the newest ones that's out at this time in 2016. So if you're looking for a villain to add to your collection of good guys, this is the one that you want, and it's pretty good. Just make sure that you keep the stand on Frieza so that he doesn't fall over a lot. So, if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this I have coming up in the very near future, be sure to subscribe to this channel so that you can get that video and those other videos as soon as I put them out. So, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I'm Jeremy, and I'll talk to you later.